Much like when you're in bed and you feel like rolling back over, apparently the last patch did this thing where it rolled back to patch 13.1, on uh, the 6th, by the way, so if you're playing and you're playing League at all, really, not even just Jinx, and you felt like something was kind of off or weird about the patch, that was it. Now, they did announce this on their Twitter, by the way. They said there was a, a bug that made them have to roll it back. And, of course, because Riot can't win, some people were complaining about, well, you're, you're supposed to be open about everything. It's like, this is them being open. Do you understand? Old Riot wouldn't have even told us this since they fixed it within the same day, by the way. So, it is fixed. We are on patch 13.1B, which is the whole AD carry, you know, item changes and stuff. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to make you aware of that if you felt like something was off this weekend when it came to playing League of Legends at the beginning of the week. Now, however, we get to jump over to patch 13.3 notes. Even though the patch will be a day late, it won't be coming out until Thursday or Friday in some regions even, the patch notes are now live. So, we're working to bounce back from a social engineering attack, but unfortunately patch 13.3 three will be delayed we'll post details here once we have a good understanding of when we'll be able to roll out the patch we apologize for the inconvenience and want to thank you once again for your patience as we work through these unprecedented circumstances thank you i don't want them to tell me every last thing to be honest personally but here we go we got a patch there are some nerfs there are some buffs and we're going to talk about the things that affect jinx on this patch like we always do here we go it won't really affect Jinx, but Aurelian Souls like CGU gameplay update and stuff is coming. And it is actually kind of interesting how they mix Dragon with literally forging stars. So just something to note before we continue on. Annie will briefly mention because she can be played support. So you might have to play with her if you're Jinx or play against her in the bottom lane in the laning phase. The passive is now fully charged on spawn. E shield strength increase, cooldown decrease, retaliation damage and conditions adjusted. R Tibber's health, armor, magic resist, and movement speed increased well that's actually kind of a bit let's go over it so the east shield being increased that makes a bunch of sense if she puts it on you if you're jinx that's gonna feel nice the cooldown on it's being decreased the retaliation damage and conditions are also being adjusted while tibbers is also just getting a bunch of buffs across the board so maybe he can be on par with daisy a bit more who just feels more impactful if you're ever playing ivor and you spawn daisy Overhill might be a rune you build on Jinx or even AD carries and you haven't for a while, but they did mean to buff it. They held it back and now the buff is finally coming out. The shield value is going from 10 plus 9% of maximum health to 20 to 300 based on champion level. This is a buff from level 5 onwards basically. So once you start getting to really even the early game, but really towards the mid game onwards, it's a buff. This is something to note, melee support adjustments. Right now in solo queue, the meta is 2 to 1 range supports, but pro play, of course, ruining it for everybody. It's like 20 to 1 range supports. So doing some passes at some melee and tank support champions like Alistair, where the self heal is getting buffed. The ally heal is also getting buffed. And the uh, pulverize looks like the mana cost is being adjusted, the headbutt being adjusted, and the trample. So you might see more Alistairs in your game. But as well as Braum, where the passive is even being, you know, the target immunity duration is going from 8, 6, and 4 seconds to 8, 6, and 4 seconds. But instead of being at levels 1, 7, and 13, it's going to be at levels 1, 6, and 11, so slightly earlier, towards, you know, the middle of the game, the mid-game, as they would call it. Uh, Winter's Bite, the cooldown is actually going lower on that, and the stand behind me where he uh, jumps to you. And If you didn't know, by the way, when Braum jumps to you, you also get bonus armor and magic resist. He's not just standing in front of you to tank stuff because of the kindness of his heart. Probably also because Braum's pretty nice, but also because you get bonus armor and magic resist. You both do. So let him jump to you if he's trying to jump to you. Just letting you know if you're a newer player. Could be possible you don't know that. Nautilus, the CC bot himself outside of Leona, of course. The bonus damage on his passive, for example, is going up. The Titan's Wrath, which is the shield he gets, which allows him to kind of maybe get in there without dying because he's, you know, a little bit of uh, protection until he starts building some items. Uh, the shield strength is going up, and the maximum health is actually staying the same. But, you know, like, you know, 10 on each plus items, that's going to feel good. Riptide, meanwhile, the magic damage is actually going up by 20% AP. So I guess if he wanted to build like a tanky AP bruiser build, or if he's just not, you know, playing support. There, even though these are support adjustments, so I imagine this is what that's for. But anyways, uh, Pike. Meanwhile, the E, the undertow, is actually getting uh, some love. It's gonna be doing a little bit more damage. Interesting. Solo lane Pike is back. Uh, and Rakanda forever. Let's see. Uh, the Gleaming Quill, so his Q, the cooldown is going down. The damage or the mana cost is going down, and the base heal is going up, as well as the Grand Interest magic damage is actually going up by 10% AP. Thresh, the death sentence, the uh, W and the flay are all getting adjustments. So basically, if we go one by one real quick, because this video would be too short otherwise, obviously they had to give us something long. 
if you're playing with an Alistair as Jinx, when he goes in to do the combo, that's when you might want to do the Flame Chompers, but personally, depending on the skill of your Alistair, if he headbutts them wrong, like he doesn't pull off the combo, like he uh, he flash pulverizes and then headbutts them away, if you can, like if the lane ain't too chaotic and you're not getting like, you know, in the middle of a fight as it is, save the Flame Chompers for when he headbutts them away. So if he headbutts them towards you, I can't speak, uh, then drop the Flame Chompers and try and just like, extend the duration that that person is CC'd. If they're good at hitting their combo, then drop this flame choppers immediately in my opinion and just get a bunch of damage on them right there because alistair knows what he's doing you know what you're doing boom it's gonna be easier lane if you're playing against alistair one of the only things i could really advise especially for newer players is ironically the minion wave because he can mess up the combo by doing it on the minion wave um if you're in it uh this is a bit risky though so i wouldn't necessarily say this is the strat i'm just if you're struggling against alistair because he seems to keep landing it pretty well that could be an option depending where the minion wave is in the lane if it's towards your tower and like you're freezing it and stuff it might be a way to make him try and miss it won't necessarily work if he's good at what he's doing though so you might also just want to lean on your tank support that might exist now in this patch Brahmi Wall has some of the same cool things with his passive in terms of when he hits a passive, you want to be auto attacking, not the flame chompers, but auto attacking. But once you get post six, if you want to just CC them possibly to death, go for it. Um, Braum, if you're a newer player, by the way, uh, when he uses his shield, by the way, it can block a lot of skill shots. So if you're going against Misfortune, you're getting bullied. She's bullying you in lane, lane bully Misfortune. And she goes to ult and this man puts up his shield, get behind him. Be, literally stand behind him uh, because it will block that. It's kind of like wind wall just he has to activate it with a bit more uh skill we'll put it that way if you're playing against braum basically watch the passive try and let him not land things like his q on you because once that stacks up to four if you're a newer player again uh you get stunned when that happens nautilus meanwhile real quick he's a cc bot basically he can win the lane for you because he just cc someone forever you might even need the flame chompers in which case just make sure you're in range to do damage with the rocket launcher try and conserve mana if you can even with the mana changes and use minigun when appropriate but if they are going to get away absolutely use the flame chompers and that's kind of like the running thing with like tankier uh cc uh supports is you want to use the flame chompers a lot more often because you can just extend the duration of the cc get a lot of damage on somebody especially if your jungler's ganking and kind of get a kill on them so really that kind of goes with a lot of these you know thresh is a classic jinx lane for a lot of the same reasons concluding the video with an honorable mention that there is the heartthrob caitlin skin which is coming so you might see caitlin in your games more often as caitlin mains will probably want to be able to play that skin and enjoy the fun with that skin also vi of course you know uh fat hands if you will if you know the old lore with a uh, jinx and stuff so there you go a uh, poor mumu but that being said that's all for this video for me thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe hit that bell notification the actual subscribe button but i don't know which video will be next because i can have a lot of kinks so to this time take care gg get jinxed Thank you for watching and enjoy pizza responsibly.